Break it down. Hook. Break it down. Hook. Break it down. Hook. On you. On me. On me. On you. What do you want? Justice. What do you want? Justice. What do you want? Justice. And how are you gonna get it? Work. How are you gonna get it? Work. 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 Then break it down. Hook. Then break it down. Hook. Then break it down. Hook. Collectively, as people and non natives in this world, to work together because there will be nothing for tomorrow for our future generation if we continue to, to live the way we're living here today. And today, over 20 different cities from Victoria to St. John's, Newfoundland, are all holding similar events like this one again to push for federal and provincial action on climate. The warning signs of the climate crisis couldn't be clear. We have wildfires raging in BC, in Alberta, in Saskatchewan, across the entire uh, western US. We have prolonged drought conditions uh, that have forced fishing bans in Vancouver Island and have left California by some estimates with less than one year of fresh water supply left. In India, thousands have died because of heat waves and in low-lying islands, thousands more are being evacuated because of rising sea levels. Our planet is literally one in crisis. So the question for us is whether we do something about it or whether we continue to bury our heads and just keep digging. Alberta is the most polluting province in the entire country, so we pollute more than Ontario and Quebec combined. And of course, we're also the home of the rising, fastest rising source of greenhouse gas emissions in the tar sands. So we live in one of the homes of the climate problem. Today we are here to say that we don't want to be part of the problem. Instead, we want to be part of the solution. Alberta is home to the best solar and wind resources in the entire country, yet we utilize less than 1% of it. We have one of the most highly trained workforces in the country, and we have communities that have for so long have faced the brunt effects of our extractivist mentality but they're ready to lead the transition. So we can turn the ship around. We can create jobs that enrich our communities, jobs that protect workers and the environment, and jobs that stand up to the challenges of our time and meet them head on. This is our historical moment. We are the last generation that has something to do, that is, has the ability to do something about this problem. This moment is ours to either win or lose. I say our planet is worth fighting for. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. So we must fight not only for ourselves, but for everyone else. We must build jobs, justice, and the climate. Together on May 5th, we change one government. In October, I suggest we change another. And I suggest that we start making the transition away from fossil fuels today. A better Alberta is possible. Let's work to make it real.